Okay, so here we have a nice Model 4 here which I'm preparing for resale. I've recapped the power supply. Check the keyboard out, works well. Uh, the disc controller works because it boots discs. Motherboard has been upgraded to 128k RAM to match the 128k uh, emblem that's hard to focus on but it's there. The last thing to do is to test the um, serial port. If the serial port passes then computer's ready for assembly and then sale. We'll fire the computer up, put in our Radio Shack diagnostics disc and let it start up. So for these tests for the serial port we've got a loop back put there joining pins 2 and 3 on the serial together. What we want to use to diagnose it is the COM menu program RS232 and the auto test. Oh dear. So we got a problem. Error. P E O E or F E on receive. Uh, this is quite common on these Model 4 Gate Array machines and I'm going to show you how we fix it. For those of you who don't want to watch my whole video, I'll tell you what it is. It's this chip here. It's an MC1488 U81 on the circuit board. My camera isn't really great at focusing, but... U81. Okay, for those who are going to stay with me, I'll show you how we um, fix this problem. So the first thing I do is grab Logic Pro. Turn the machine off. Connect the Logic Probe to ground and to 5 volts, which I pick up 5 volts from the video expansion connector pin 34 is a good source of 5 volts. And we fire the system up again and go back to where that menu was. Now what I see um, you 81 does is it's the line driver for the serial port and okay the line driver for the serial port pin 8 on there connects to pin 2 on the serial um, pin 9 and 10 are the inputs from the UART and uh, from the UART and the um, um, that gate array there, the uh, RS232 support gate array. So what I can do is see that um, if I well for starters, this is going to be hard while holding a camera, but we'll see if I can set the camera up to to see it easily enough. Yep, that ought to do it. By executing the auto um, test over and over, we can see that nothing comes out through the RS232. Pin 8, nothing goes out. Pins 9 and 10 are the inputs for the NAND gate um, for the output of the RS-232. Pin 10 does nothing. 
pin 9 does. So what that's telling me is that we're getting an input into this chip but we're getting no output. What I'm going to do is cut the video here, unsolder and replace this chip with a new one and then run this test again and you'll see that it starts working. And we are back. So I've um, replaced the MC1488 chip. It's in a socket now. A replacement one I bought from JCAR. So let's test our handiwork. Uh, on with the machine. And we'll just let him boot up. Com menu. RS232. And now when we press auto test, we see that. Serial port's working again connected our logic probe so we can have a listen to the data going through that NAND gate first thing we check is RS232 connector um, on the 1488 so pin 8 that one there is the output pin 9 is the input one of them pin 10 is the other input the NAND gate comprises of pins uh, 9 and 10 and the output is on pin 8 so there you have it that's how you fix a serial port on a Model 4 gate array motherboard same on a Model 4D motherboard, it's exactly the same thing. Um, of course, before you go unsoldering chips and all sorts of things, you've got to make sure that your UART is fine and that your board rate generator is fine. But generally, if these, if you swap these two out um, from another computer and you get the same result, or you put them into another computer and they work properly, then almost 99% of the time, that'll be this guy. Alright then, we'll put this computer back together, put it up for sale and um, that'll be it. We'll be off to its new owner in, uh, well, hopefully, not too very long future. Thanks for watching.